Did you know that if you were injured on the job site and you brought a worker's comp claim, that there may still be other people or companies involved in your job site that you're entitled to gain compensation from? Hi, my name is Jonathan Macri and I'm an attorney with Parker Wakeman. And I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about a topic that a lot of folks are a little bit unclear on. And it has to do with workers' compensation and being injured on the job site. Now you're watching this video because you or someone you know has been injured on the job. Likely you may have already begun the steps to initiate a workers' compensation claim. And a lot of people think that that's the only avenue that they could go down to seek compensation for the injuries that they sustained as a result of a workplace accident. But the law in New York is very specific that where certain types of accidents occur on a job site, the injured employee may be entitled to other compensation from other companies or people at their job site, such as the owner of the building or maybe the general contractor on the project. Now, there are a lot of very specific laws in New York that detail what those scenarios are where people could seek elsewhere other than just workers' comp to gain compensation. Uh, one example is what's called an elevation-related hazard. Now, what is an elevation-related hazard? Well, let's say you're on a job site and you need to uh, do some kind of work that requires you to get up on a scaffold or a ladder. And when you're up on that scaffold or you're up on that ladder, you fall off of it to the ground below and you hurt yourself. Or let's take another example. Let's say that you are lifting things on the job site via some kind of pulley system and something goes wrong and something falls and hits you. Those are scenarios that would qualify as an elevation related hazard because either you or some object fell from a distance and you were injured as a result of that fall. Now, in those types of scenarios, you may be entitled to compensation from those other companies involved in your job site, such as, like I said, the owner of the building, the general contractor, or a host of other folks. Now, I'm sure you still have a lot of questions about if your specific case qualifies under one of these specific New York laws. And here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to give me a call because I have the answers to these questions and I deal with these things every day. Again, my name is Jonathan Macri and here at Parker Wakeman, we deal with construction related accidents involving elevation related hazards and a lot of other types of hazards that occur on the job site every day of the week. So once again, my name is Jonathan Macri. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks again for watching.